Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a 164 scale 1974 Porsche RSR uh, Turbo 2.1 and this is made by Kyosho and I just I ordered this off of eBay and got it from directly from Japan and um, I've never seen these up close before I've seen the auto art and some of the other ones that are similar to this um, but I am really really impressed by this it's pretty cool now it's not in the uh, desirable silver at the martini graphics but uh, I snatched up this uh, I was able to snatch up this satin black one for pretty pretty inexpensive price and originally I, I was going to get it and strip it down and repaint it red or silver or something like that but this it's almost too nice to repaint they did a pretty pretty decent job on it I'm going to show it off here too. Uh, the details are really, really nice on this. As you can see, they even have a little emblem on the front, front there. The interior looks good. It's got, it looks, appears to have a full roll cage inside of it. The oil and gas caps all look really, really nice. And appear to be separate pieces the rear the lenses on the back are separate lenses the mirrors they do have uh, silver paint here to represent the mirrors and there's a little bit of silver paint highlighting the turbo exhaust so it doesn't need much work I'm just gonna go ahead and do very very minor detailing of the intercooler and the turbo on the back here so and also the wheel the knockoff the nuts on the wheels there just uh, just very minor stuff and also I'll probably hit the um, electrical cutoff switch here on the up here on the cow so we'll get to it here it's not gonna take too long to I have a flat aluminum color from testers this is enamel that I'm gonna be using for the this back, let me get this out of the way here. This back end right here, this should all be, the intercooler would be sticking out on this, in this square. So hopefully I can get this paint to flow in there without messing too much up. I should have brought my glasses down. Okay. Probably gonna have to let that dry. Just put a little bit of a dab of thinner in there to kind of get everything to flow in that square. So probably gonna have to leave this upright. I'm using a little bit darker steel color from testers for down here on the turbo. Even though it's, I know, I realize it's aluminum, but um, all this plumbing and stuff here, I'm just going to highlight lightly, almost dry brush this and get my reference photo. Kyosha did an admirable attempt there with, at least they tried to get um, get some of that detail to pop out with highlighting the exhaust tip, but they should have, for the price of these, the, it would have been kind of cool if they would have done a little more here with the back end, but there's the uh, wastegate exhaust is really small. They actually have a little, it's almost the size of a pin like a really small syringe tip there right there where I'm brushing so that's pretty freaking cool 
do a little bit brighter aluminum color here for the here and here for the turbo exhaust I'm gonna go back to like a steel steel color I have a palette off to the side here I'm just kind of some colors mixed up This is kind of getting to be kind of probably unnecessary and kind of anal here to do all this underneath. But one of those things when you're already down here and you're working on it, you might as well finish it out. That way you can at least kind of see the details when you flip it over or you have it sitting in like a case or whatever that looks pretty cool all right let me let this let the intercooler dry i don't want to tip that over because that's gonna could spill out of there so let me let the let this sit upright here to dry and uh i'll be right back and i just want to lightly if i can here i want to get this Get those center knockoffs there. The nuts, if I can, I'd like to get those highlighted. I want to do the the electrical cutoff, which is real small. And the other thing I want to do, if I can, when you look at these cars from the roof um, back right in here, you should from the this back you should be able to see that large intercooler right through there I'm gonna try I don't know if I can get this or not if I had a I think a tip of a toothpick might be better let me go get let me go get a toothpick once and I think that might actually be better to get in that tight area this is nerve-wracking shit yeah it didn't that didn't pan out well, it's not too bad. I could get it fixed up. But. So what happens when you do that is this guy gets some thinner and clean off the edges a little bit there. Now the front here, I want to do this uh, screen in the front with like a steel color as well. I knew, I knew this wasn't going to be easy to do the front here, but I'm going to do my best here to putting a really thinned out steel color in there, which I'll probably go back over that with a dark wash then, because it's probably going to be too much here. Just trying not to go out of the bounds here. I 
uh, background noise here tonight. It's, when you have a family, it's unavoidable, of course, as some of you know. Okay, now this is going to be really hard to get. I knew that was going to be freaking hard. Okay, I'm going to have to do some cleaning up here. The, the actual, the cars had, uh, well, you can kind of see a little mark underneath the paint here. They had uh, where the hood hold downs are. So the back ones, I think, are round, and the front ones were round on top of square or rectangular aluminum plates. Just getting kind of anal, but if we gotta do it, might as well just go all the way. Hood pins, that's what I'm thinking of. I couldn't think of <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. What I'm saying, hold downs, hood pins. All right, there. So there we go. I'm trying to think, if there's anything else we could do while we're working on this. Screen's still drying in the front, but it looks pretty cool. It definitely added more interest to the car. Okay, I'm wrapping this up and I think I'm pretty much done now with this. Um, pretty happy with it. Just did minor detailing on it because they did such a good job and I really didn't need to do anything to it. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pleased with it and it's, it's awesome. I'm tempted, i really tempted to drill out the uh, two rivets on the bottom and take it apart and do some detailing on the inside. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. I'll show you what I did here. And I did all the screens, like a steel color, and I went off of plenty of reference photos online. Did all the uh, hold downs, the electrical cutoff switch. I uh, did the mirrors. I decided to do those in gloss black just to uh, kind of break it up from the, the satin black that the rest of the car is already in. Some photos of the cars back when they were raced, some of them appear to be satin black mirrors and other ones are gloss black for whatever reason. And of course did the center nuts there and I did the, um, the two hold downs for the back. Highlight the intercooler. So the, oh, I, I don't know if I discussed it earlier or not, but they, it does have rubber tires that are removable. So that's pretty cool. I highly recommend these. They're ex fairly expensive. I'd love to get their silver martini one, but um, the prices are outrageous for them. And this one wasn't too bad. And then it was $3, $3 and something economy shipping from Japan to U.S. So it's not too bad. Really, really cool. So there you go. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll take some nice pictures of it here and throw them on and probably some on Instagram as well. So thanks for checking it out. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. All right. Bye now.